girl oh. so bad. She's on the list. Home slice is on the list. <laughs> She's on it. The wave. What if? I, the, yeah, the wave. She's the worst. I'm just. Uh, can we? Can I just read the summary of the next episode? No. Please. No. no. Why would you want to do that? I just want to know that everyone's gonna be okay. Well, it's Game of Thrones, and also you're gonna. You see remember it. how this last episode started? And you were like, wow, this seems like a really nice place. <laughs> I wanna, I wanna be there. I wanna, I wanna. That was like the biggest giveaway. Like, here's a really nice place. Everybody's <laughs> happy. Everyone dies. Everyone. <laughs> Emergy is a little conniving little witch. Little little. This is Game of Thrones, man. That's not Disney. God, wasn't that great? I always speech, forget. Wasn't that Grandma's speech to Cersei so great? That was so. All that shade. All that shade. So <laughs> much shade. She called her vow. You vow, woman. <laughs> <laughs> you lost, seriously? And she was like, what? So funny. So funny. And Sans is being all sneaky leaky, and I really liked her, and now she's not being very smart. She doesn't know that John's the best, and he came back from the dead. I'm just stressed and I'm tired and I just want to watch all of them right now. She does know that John came back from the dead. Yeah, but why is she being an idiot? Remember Stannis thinking... Yeah, I don't like Stannis. Remember Davos telling him, we need to go back to Castle Black. We need to go back. We don't have the men. We don't... And he was like, we only go forward. We only go forward. And John's saying the same thing. We attack with what we have. So... Different motives, though. I don't like Different Stannis. motives. Different motives, but no brand this episode. I know, but that's crazy about the uncle. It just all comes full circle. Like Harry Potter. <laughs> You're like, did she think about this from the beginning? So, <sighs> Liana Mormont, who is named after Sansa's aunt, Liana. Mm -hmm. and her uncle is Gior Mormont, who was the commander of the Night's Watch. Okay. Which would mean that Jorah is her cousin, actually. Oh, yeah. I just don't know how I feel about Daenerys. Here's the thing. I was, like, rooting for her to be the, the head of ever, all the Seven Kingdoms. Now I just really want it to be Jon Snow, obviously. Okay. But Daenerys is like, I like her, but I don't like her at the same time. What do you mean? Like what? I mean, she's fine. I definitely don't hate her. I just don't know if I would, like, cry if she died. Maybe I probably would. I don't know. She's just so, like... She's so like uppity and thinks that she's the best. I don't know. I just. I hated that speech. I didn't think it was a good speech. No. Yeah, I did too. When I saw that episode, I'm just like, it's how a many shitty speech. How many times is she gonna like motivate her followers to go to Westeros? Like, yeah, it's annoying. It's getting annoying. I couldn't tell if it was bad writing, or or what. But I thought like, because there was that speech she had with. Um, Dario just before she went off to get on Drogon. Yeah. Where she was like, how long is it to this one? How many ships do I need? What do I do? And he said something and he was like, you're a conqueror. What was that supposed to mean for the speech that she gave? Mm -hmm. I thought if she if she went around the corner, got on the dragon, came back and gave a speech like Carl Drogo gave in the first season. Yeah. Which right. is what I think they were trying to do. But when you're sitting on a green screen dragon, you know, also, and no one else is there. You're not really looking at a horde of. How do you give that performance? You know. Yeah. But also, it's just like get along with her plotline already. Like, yeah, like, like, we got this speech like three, se four seasons, like, five seasons ago, whatever it is. Great speeches we hear. Give Great speeches. It's like we all, know what her season. motive is, just like we want her to get there. <laughs> and everybody keeps warning her not to go crazy, 
you know, not to be the mad king. And she's going crazy. But if that was going crazy, well, the last episode, if that was going crazy, it yeah. needed to be a lot bigger. They kept flashing back to Dario, and Dario's, like, got this look on his face, like, like he's concerned. Yeah. Yeah, it seemed pretty okay, just, like, more but, the same. But he, yeah. But concerned about what? She just gave a Half -hearted mediocre speech. speech and yeah. Darth Racky are cheering. What are you concerned about? Yeah, the Darth Racky yeah. are going nuts. I don't know, I think, yeah, maybe, it's not that I don't like her, I'm just not, like... She's she's get she's getting boring for me. Because mm -hmm. well, she's, she's had the same motive for like how many seasons and nothing's really changed. Well, it was interesting when Varys and Tyrion joined up with her. Right. That added a That's, lot yeah, of interesting cool. elements to have them come and join with her. And for her to just say like I'm gonna conquer the world, like we know that, just do it. Don't talk about it. Do it. <laughs> yeah, like when she just talk Enough about it, she can't do it. Do she it. can't do it because all the people in Marin are killing each other. You know. Well, she has been. She has proven herself to be a pretty shitty ruler. Yeah. She, you know, hasn't been able to keep the peace, you know. All she can do is, is light she's, things on fire and give a speech she's that... She's great at freeing people, you know, she, like he, like Dario said, you're a conqueror. Yeah. You know, you're great at this, Insp inspiring people, you've got these dragons, it's great. Yeah, but you can't really... She's pretty shitty at ruling. <laughs> yeah. Well, so, now he is, but, but so now just he hasn't really saying. worked with, she hasn't worked with um, those two at all. That, well, she hasn't worked with the two of them at all. She's worked with Taryn a little bit. She has, she has like unwarranted self-confidence, which, I don't know, maybe it'll help her. Maybe it'll make her lead the Seven Kingdoms somehow. I mean, that's what it <sighs> takes sometimes to really believe that you are, your shit don't stink. I just don't love her. She's not my favorite room. She's no Tyrion, that's for sure. I thought the Arya plot run took a while too. Like I felt like she was just looping for a long time, and then I finally didn't, something happened. I didn't happened. feel like that. But again, I was waiting once a week, and then sometimes yeah. like a year, and I'm just like, I didn't feel like this that. This is what I waited Arya for. Because I really, I eventually got to the point where I wanted her to leave, but I wasn't sure if she was going to. I think. I mean, maybe some people could have guessed that she was, but I don't think it was obvious that she was going to leave. Like, I think with her story, it was, there are a lot of aspects that made you think. Well, I knew she was, something was going to happen, it was just me literally waiting for it to happen, and I was just like, okay, 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 finally. Um, I love that she blamed it all on Cersei, because it is her fault. Yep. Oh, God, mm. she's such an idiot. There's a lot more on all of that in the history of Laura gave you, which you probably still haven't watched. I still I will. I'm going to this week. You're gonna to have to use it to fill the gap between I'm really season six and season seven. When does season seven come out? I still don't know. I think June. June? Okay, this is easy for you though. <laughs> this is the first time you've ever had to wait and it's actually not as long yeah, as long I've been waiting wait. since last year. Yeah, me too. June? You haven't and had anything spoiled for you, have you? No, I haven't been searching. There's been a couple of like this who is this new character and it's like t turn that shit off like yeah. yeah showing pictures of new actors and they're like apparently this is where they're from and this is who they're going to interact with go yeah, away stop yes yeah, why would you want to know that before you saw it especially with a show like this it's not well, fun I mean it's imagine it's fun to know you know I was I'm I was so all into that know. stuff because at the end of season 5 when John died I was like why would I watch this show do, do I even want to watch this show let me right wait what might happen Okay, but really, will, will it happen? <laughs> yeah. Okay, but is that going to happen? <laughs> you know? <laughs> no, truly. Like, after John Stone, I was like, what you? But I don't know. I feel like this show wouldn't be as fun or as good. If, I mean, like, why would I watch it if I knew it was going to happen to everybody? Mm -hmm. Well, that's why, I, I like, once John died, I was just like, they're not going to end his storyline that way. They're just not going to. Like, people who've died before have died, like, in epic ways. That wasn't, like, that's not going to be what it was. Yeah. It's going to be the John Jon Snow death episode, and that's just not what it's going to be. Like, the Red Wed Wedding, that Stark, like, those are all big moments, but that's not what that was. So, I, I don't know, I just, I, I just, I figured he was coming back, so I would, but I was pissed when I first saw it, too. I was just like, what? God, so sad. I was like, no way. And he had to wait so long. I literally can't believe they had him come back to life. I'm just in shock. 